if you have enough season like me in Canada or you're just simply planning to take a break from skydiving for a moment, well, you might have wondered how can you correctly store your skydiving equipment to avoid any damage over time. Well, in this video, I'm sharing you the best tips and advice from actual riggers on how to best store your skydiving gear. Coming up! <laughs> Hey there, it's Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become better and safer skydivers. So if you're new here, well, consider subscribing and click the little bell icon to be notified whenever we post new videos all about skydiving. All right, so if you just got your skydiving equipment, of course, we always want to take good care of our gear. And so the question that we ask ourselves the most is how do I store my gear to make sure it doesn't doesn't get damaged. And so I wanted to answer that in this video. All right, so the first thing you need to consider is how long will you actually store it? If it's a couple of weeks or even a couple of months, there's not much you need to do actually with your equipment. Simply make sure it's away from kids, bugs, pets, sunlight, humidity, and you'll be good. However, if you have enough season like me in Canada, well, you might have to store it even longer, so up to four and six months. And so I did ask some riggers about what is their best advice when it comes to storing our equipment. What I found overall is that there's no right or wrong answers. Like what I'm gonna give you are actually advice and recommendations, but it's not mandatory to do all that. However, the golden rule when it comes to storing your equipment for a certain period of time is that when you're ready to jump it again, you gotta make sure that you bring everything to your rigger so he can inspect and repack everything to make sure that everything is still in good working shape. This is a very important rule because while you were storing it, you don't know what happened if there's mice that came in or something like that. So you wanna make sure that everything is fully operational. So the first tip I heard from riggers is to remove the rubber bands from the canopy lines. Those rubber bands can actually cock your canopy lines over time. And you don't necessarily need to take all of your canopy out. It can remain in the deployment bag, but you can just remove the rubbers. Another advice that I was given is to remove the pilot chute from its pouch. So by doing that, we're keeping the elasticness of the pouch. So by removing it, we're saving the stretchiness of the pouch, if you know what I mean. Next, another thing that you can do is to open your riser covers. Again, here there's some tabs in play and by opening them up, you're giving them a break during the period where you're not jumping. So that can be done as well to save your riser covers from getting cocked. Before we continue with the other recommendations, please hit that like button and let me know below how do you actually store your skydiving equipment? And what are the other best advice that you've heard on how to actually store our equipment? All right, so now let's get back to the video. Another advice that I was given is to actually unpack your main canopy and place it in a sealed tube or bag to protect it. That could be interesting to do, but that can end up taking a lot of space. The last recommendation that I'm hearing a lot and that a lot of us cadavers seems to already know is to unpack your reserve canopy. This could help in releasing the tension on the spring that exists in the reserve pallet chute and make sure that we are saving it over time. However, I was personally recommended not to do that because by opening up your reserve canopy, well, you're exposing very sensitive elements that are actually verified and certified to possible hazard. So whether it's the canopy itself that could get damaged or even the pilot chute spring, if you end up placing it in a wrong position, you could deform it and then you would have to buy another one when you'll start jumping. So for that matter, to avoid any damage on the reserve system, well, my rigger recommended me to just not touch it. And I think that's a very wise recommendation. And actually, I've heard that the reserve canopies are made to be stored 
compact. So for that matter, I would recommend not to touch the reserve canopy. Last year, actually, I had to do my AAD maintenance and for that I needed to pop the reserve out. And so I had to actually also store it being deployed. So as you can see in this video here where I did a walkthrough about what's inside a skydiving container, well you can see the different elements of the reserve canopy like the spring in the pilot chute but also the risers and the fact that the toggles on the reserve has velcro those are all important details that could actually damage your reserve canopy. So I had to take really good care of placing everything and making sure nobody would access it, not to void any certification on my reserve equipment. So whatever you decide to do with your skydiving equipment before storing it, you gotta make sure that nothing could damage it during the storing time. So think about direct sunlight, high humidity, that's not good for your equipment, pets and children, you gotta make sure that they don't have access to it. So personally, here's how I store my equipment. So I will most likely put it in a bin and I would have opened the riser covers. I would have removed the rubber bands around my canopy line, but I keep the canopy inside the deployment bag to make sure it's not taking too much space. And I will also remove the pilot chute from its pouch. So that's how I will personally store my equipment. Do not hesitate to reach out to your own rigger to see what he thinks about the best practices to store your equipment. Those are all just recommendations that you can choose to do or not. But do not forget that the golden rule is to bring all your equipment to your rigger for a repack and an inspection before you start again and jump it. This alone could be a lifesaver. Now tell me, how do you store your equipment actually? Have you heard about other best practices to store your skydiving gear? Well, let me know in the description below. And do not forget that you can always support Skydive Vibes in order to get access to our private Facebook group where we discuss about skydiving stuff every week. And also you could win skydiving gear. So make sure to check the links in the description below. On that, you can watch other videos from Skydive Vibes right there and keep jumping, stay safe and blue skies.